Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a £20 note hunt with me, Richie. Right, so I went to the bank and asked for £300 in £20 notes. And it's been about, well, a while since the new £20 note came out. And all my bank had was the old ones. Yay! So it's really weird, like after having so many of the new ones and then all of a sudden having the old ones again um, it's quite weird having them in my hand because I'm used to the polymer um, but yeah so these ones I got today and we're gonna go through and we're gonna first of all are they sorted? Uh, that needs to go there I don't know oh my bank's been quite good I think because the lady counted them I think she may have sorted them out properly as well but yeah so we've got uh, 300 pounds in 20 pound notes to go through and what we're gonna do as always we're gonna start with the Queen side flip them round and we're gonna have a look then at the Adam Smith side of the note and then we will um, look at serial numbers as well because even though these are the old ones you never know what we could find when it comes to serial numbers and things like that. So again, if you guys see anything that you think I've missed or anything that could have been significant, leave it in the comment section. Let me know, let everyone else know who subscribes to this channel, who watches these videos, and we can all learn from each other. Uh, so yeah, so I'm constantly learning. I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy who goes to the bank and looks at coins and notes. You know, I get some of the names of the coins wrong <laughs> still. And it's been nearly three years. So let's bring the notes up close. And we're just going to have a look, see if there's anything um, unusual with the note. And the only thing I can see unusual on this note is the queen. It's the same portrait on the new 20 pound note as it is the old one. Um, it is looking too young. She kind of, I don't know, She would you say she looks in the 60s in this picture maybe? But yeah, we needed an up-to-date one. If you look at the Australian notes, they actually have the Queen's picture as up-to-date. But maybe she told the Bank of England that she wants them to make her look younger. Maybe next time I'm in the Bank of England I'll ask them, why is it the Queen looks so young on the notes? So this one looks kind of modern, like recent, because you can see the the fade in in this one, and then compared to that one. So this could have been a more recent minted, minted printed <laughs> note. All right, so nothing of interest on this side. Let's have a look. Someone's written on that one, and that one. So I know someone had £520 and this note must have been on the top. Alright, so we're going to switch it round to Adam Smith and we're going to have a look and see uh, if there's anything unusual with the portrait, the background picture and obviously the... Um, what is what am I trying to find out? The serial number. So we're just going to go through them all and have a look. All right. There's another one there with a bit of graffiti on. Uh, got H A. How long is it going to be until we start seeing H's? There's an E. <laughs> I think all we've seen so far with the new po polymer notes is probably up to D. Look, we got K there, and J, H, but yeah, there's nothing unusual. We've got 6996. If that was 99, nine, that would have been pretty cool. But we got one here where, if you look at the numbers, the 29 looks, no, the 1, sorry, looks a little bit, I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. H H and B C. So yeah, so there was nothing really 
too crazy or anything in these but it's nice I don't know this is one of the last probably old 20 pound note hunts we're going to be doing so they're going to be winding down and yeah so it's going to be sad to see them go but obviously we have to evolve and change don't we so guys thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this video i do appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video so take care and i'll see you later goodbye